I found this interesting mix of vegetables here at the Indian market. And one thing I'm always trying to do is, is eat vegetables that are less common, that you're not going to find everywhere, because I like to get a variety. And there's a couple neat things in here. One of them is Indian vegetable drumstick, which I had never eat, eaten before. A search for Indian vegetable drumstick will lead you to Moringa oleifera, also known as Moringa, or the drumstick tree or the horseradish tree, or the benzoil tree. This tree is native to the southern foothills of the Himalayas in northwest India and is widely cultivated in tropical and subtropical areas where its young seed pods and leaves are used as vegetables. So here's a couple pieces of that Indian vegetable drumstick. This is what it looks like when it's still frozen. You don't eat that outer green part and it's almost like little beans inside. Basically, when it's cooked, you just pop it in your mouth and bite down and almost squeeze that inside part out. This is what we're talking about. It hangs from the tree and it grows between 20 and 45 centimeters long. It looks kind of like a really long okra. Here you can see it growing on the tree. And I was wrong. It's actually not a bean. It's a seed pod. Here's the nutrition data on one cup sliced, cooked, and drained without salt. Like most whole plant foods, it's relatively low in fats and protein and high in carbohydrates. You can see one cup serving size has nearly 200% the daily value of your vitamin C. And it's got a good variety and distribution of minerals as well. The number one question in health right now is probably, are you eating enough fruits and vegetables? Do you ever eat plates that look like this? That's what I'm saying, man. I got all kinds of stuff on here. Onions, mushrooms, broccoli, cauliflower. I got some like Indian gourd, carrots. And this is what the real deal is. This is what I want to show you guys. This is the little piece of Indian Indian vegetable drumstick. And you can kind of see it's almost got like a little bean in there. So you bite into it and take out the, the little part inside. It's delicious. I'm going to try to break it open so you can see what's, in, what's going on inside this thing. It's like piping hot. So you can't eat that outer shell, man.